Okay, so um, yesterday we were eating dinner, and my youngest sister asked me, Auntie, what's your piece about? And I said to her, um, bad stuff. <laughs> I probably should have said dark stuff because then she looked at me like, and then I was like, no, I'm not talking about sex. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You don't need to hear your update. I'll talk to you about sex. <laughs> um, this is actually more close to my heart. This is actually about uh, mental illness. So, uh, yeah. I apologize. <clears throat> so, this is, uh, so my name is Sam, and this is False Starts. Hello. For those of you who don't know what post-traumatic stress disorder is, it's when scary stuff happens to you and, like, you get really scared and, you know, you try to get, try to do stuff about it, but, like, you're Hello, my name is PTSD and I am a three-year-old girl clad with a bullet belt and an assault rifle. I specialize in finding three different ways to escape a room when the door is wide open. I'm great at finding solutions to potential problems. In fact, I have such good foresight that I am afraid of things that aren't physically there, like the little green girl that hides in my washroom when the lights are off, or the crying baby that follows me around. Trigger. Hello, my name is PTSD, and I am a young mother dragging her screaming child like two heavy sandbags dead weight against the floor. The floor tastes like Lysol, but the smell in my head when I smash on the linoleum is a gas that burns my nose like the alcohol she rubs on my skin because I can never be clean enough. She buffs and scrubs until I forget what a mother's supposed to smell like, the way a magic eraser wipes a stain off the wall. Trigger. One of my Facebook friends posts a candidate of her child drawing on the walls. My stomach drops to the floor. Hello. My name is PTSD, and you are an old man. Did you know I've already thought of three different ways to kill you before you come any closer? Trigger. His shirt is blue. He smells of cologne and angry sweat. He has Red in his eyes, I can't remember what I was going to say. My words are a sandbag with a hole in the bottom. I am panicked for no reason. Time isn't going fast enough. I slash a hole in the bag and all the sand spills on the floor. Oh God, if I don't clean up, mommy will yell at me. Her, eye, her ears will pop. It'll be all my fault. Put my hands to my head or she'll pull my hair. I need to hide my sisters. They got hit with a pencil case. I need to hide. No, I need to look like I'm doing chores. I need to hide. Slow down. Don't drop the clothes. Do it slowly. Slowly. It'll be okay. My mom said, try praying, it helps. But my demons are heavy sandbags on my shoulders. We have a green glow in the dark crucifix at our house. Mommy says that even in dark times, Jesus is here for us. Yet when I press my palms together in the dark, begging for salvation, I see a green light across a sea of doubt. Hello, I am PTSD. I was told in church to fear the Lord, our Father in heaven, and yet I fear my own father over death itself. Trigger. The sound of his footsteps, my heart hits the floor with a clang louder than the pearly gates or the bell of final judgment trigger. You love me, right? Trigger. 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 Being with you is a guessing game, like ripping petals from a flower, trying to find a shower of she loves me, she loves me not, and by the time I figured it out, I'm at a loss. Trigger. I don't answer your calls. Trigger. Stop washing the dishes, trigger. I don't get out of bed, trigger. Try counting sheep, 
One. I stop eating. One. I stare at the wall. One. I can't open my eyes. Trigger. Warning. Hello. My name is Depression. And I am so tired.